morning minute. Promise or problem? Where's your focus? On the problem or the promises of God? Do you want the divine nature found in the knowledge of God, or would you rather focus on your problems yourself? We read in Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 4 in the New King, King James. Those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him, through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue, by which has been given to us exceedingly, exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. God has given you all his faith in his Holy Spirit living in you. You don't need more faith. You need more knowledge of the righteousness of God living in you. As your understanding of the precious promises of God's love, grace, peace, and righteousness, which is multiplied in your knowledge of Jesus Christ, your Lord, your boldness, confidence, and faith will increase. If you're focused on the precious promises through the knowledge of God in Jesus Christ, you will escape the corruption of this world and the lust of greed, pride, and selfish desire. You will also receive the divine nature. In Romans 12, 2, in the New Living Translation, we read, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you'll learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. When you change your thinking so that you can hear, understand, receive, and gain knowledge of the Word of God, then a transformed life, the divine nature, and the multiplication of the precious promises will be manifested in your life. You will trust God more than your feelings, emotions, and human intellectual reasoning. Which is greater, the wisdom of God, uh, wisdom and knowledge of God, or your human intellectual reasoning? Which do you trust more, your human intellect or the wisdom of God through his precious promises? How is it working trusting your own human intellect for getting perfect peace, getting rid of anxiety and fear? Peace and grace are multiplied by the knowledge of God in Jesus Christ. This is a peace which passes all understanding and comprehension of human intellect. This is a perfect peace in love, mercy, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Walk, walk in the promises of God today. He loves you. He loves you. He, through his gift of Jesus Christ, has made you and has given you right standing with your Father, your Heavenly Father. Amen and amen.